Now on 10 TV News at 6, Intel, Anduril, Microsoft, Google, all tech companies investing in Ohio, but is Ohio investing in itself? Central Ohio's rapidly growing manufacturing industry is both a blessing and a curse. Our region is attracting more and more companies, and the size of our workforce can't keep up with the demand. As we continue our Boomtown series, 10 TV's Kevin Landers takes a look at how our region is preparing kids of today Day to keep jobs here in the Buckeye State. Sparked by a $200 million state investment. You guys okay? Yeah. Ohio's career technical education programs. We're teaching the very basics of machine. Are trying to keep up. I've always been interested in becoming an engineer. With the building boom in central Ohio. Columbus is growing like crazy. As a result, manufacturers are desperate for skilled labor. The state needs more welders. More machinists, more robotics engineers, carpenters, and electricians. I want to work with my hands. Instructors say they're getting inundated with requests for well trained students. The demand's there, but if they can't fill those positions, I worry that they're going to find them from somewhere else or move the manufacturing to somewhere else, and we need more manufacturing, not less. At Eastland Fairfield Technical Schools, enrollment has climbed every year since 2020. Students see this kind of hands-on education as a quick way to a job. Do you, do you feel confident that when you leave here that you'll have a job? Oh, yeah. At Columbus State, enrollment in its engineering program has grown from 407 students in 2022 to 527 students today. Right now we're wiring up outlets. Across the state, more than 136,000 juniors and seniors are enrolled in a career tech program. It's good to have something to fall back on. At Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center, they're building two more classroom labs to meet the demand. Its welding class has a wait list of more than 70 students. We need to expand more. So through that 200 million dollar investment over the next 10 years we're going to put 40,000 more students into career technical education pathways. Ohio's workforce is changing. In 2000 it was the great resignation as workers left their jobs during COVID. Today it's the gray tsunami as more older workers are retiring and leaving their jobs. Ohio's career technical schools are trying to fill the manufacturing hole. The challenge, they say, is getting kids to understand that the path to a job doesn't always require a college degree. The tide has definitely turned where career tech is becoming the cool kid in the room because everybody wants that hands-on experiential learning that you receive in career tech. Kevin Landers, 10TV News.